Hello everyone, Toby from Virgo Sewing here and uh, showing you this really nice Kenmore um, I'm not sure if it's a 148 or 158 series because the uh, identification plate has been taken off at some point but this really nice vintage Sears Kenmore I'm going to call it uh, 148 series for now sewing machine uh, and I've just finished overhauling it and I'd like to show you how to thread it how it stitches and how just how lovely and strong and kind of quiet it is. So we've got our bobbin case here. Put in your bobbin with the thread going counterclockwise. Bring your thread through the little groove around to the tension spring and the bobbin is threaded. So with your needle and take up lever up Grab your bobbin case like so and just insert it into the uh, bobbin hook race or bobbin's threaded. So now we'll take our top thread, bring it under this guide and over so that it's nice and secure. Make sure our foot's up, bring it through the tension discs, let it catch the spring and bring it over to this thread guide so that it's over. Bring it around this guard. Thread it through the eye of the take-up lever. Down through the guard once again. There's a little uh, sort of guide between the faceplate and the body here. It's very easy to see. Uh, put it through there through the thread guide at the top of the needle bar and finally through the eye of the needle front to back. And bring our bobbin up and we are ready to sew. So I've got a uh, Schmetz size 16 denim needle in here and I'm going to use a nice piece of uh, denim from a pair of pants and we're going to start with two layers and we will just stitch on from there and see how it, how it runs. You can hear how nice and quiet this machine is. It's really just a... Uh, wow, it's a beautiful stitch. And to reverse, of course, we just hold down that lever as we're sewing. And while we are here, I will show you the uh, zigzag stitch. So we'll just bring it to a full width zigzag, turn down our stitch length, And that is a beautiful zigzag. People love these uh, Sears Kenmore because they have one of the most accurate and uh, perfect looking zigzag stitches. And I will change to our uh, blind hem stitch and show you that. Here is the multi zigzag stitch. And that is just a really nice and gorgeous looking uh, stitch. And what I love about these machines is that they have this extra presser foot lift so if you want to get some really heavy fabric under there or if you need to pull out like I just did over this uh, pants hem that I have doubled you can really easily do that just by lifting up the presser foot manually and so I'll show you these stitches before we go on we have our straight stitch and our multi zigzag 
We have our blind ham trying to get it in the light. And we have our backside stitches, which look really nice and even as well. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fold this over, return to our straight stitch, and we will see uh, how much this machine can go through using a uh, size 16 denim needle. And I think it will do really well. So we've now got four layers of denim. I'll increase my tension a little bit. And the machine will just chug right through it, making a really nice tight stitch. And I'm going to go over this, uh, this seam here, and that's going to add probably like two more layers. So we'll see how it chugs over an extra few layers. And it chugs over with zero complaints, no skip stitches, and that is just a really wonderful, wonderfully strong sewing machine. And now I'm going to go over eight layers of denim, and we'll really be testing the limits of this machine here with eight layers of denim using the uh, 16 denim needle. I'm going to have to use my extra presser foot lifter to get it over. And when you're going over really heavy fabrics, it's, it's a good idea to loosen your uh, presser foot pressure, which I've just done. And now let us see what this machine will do for us over eight layers of denim. Now this is really like heavy, heavy pants denim. This is nothing light. Um, and wow, this machine is, those stitches just look better and better every single time. I'm being really light with it. I'm not forcing the pedal. And you know what? For eight layers of uh, your above average thickness of denim, I'd say it does really, really well. It's even hard to see the stitches, because they're so well set into the fabric. But this line of stitching here is what we've done with eight layers. Now this machine will come with a lovely Sears Kenmore authentic button holder. And it's a really nice sort of a faded pink color. And it's got uh, five, uh, excuse me, five templates. You've got your feed dog cover for the machines that don't have feed dog uh, lifters. And that's all I can say for this lovely vintage Sears Kenmore machine. So, thank you for watching, and this could be the machine for you.